Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here taking a look at the brand new Bell Home Hub 3000. This is a modem slash router in one and it is for the residential market, brand new for the for fall of 2016 and it does replace the Bell Home Hub 2000 which is the uh, slightly older model. This is the one that I had and then I replace it with the Home Hub 3000 and the difference is very noticeable. So uh, let's cover what it is. So this is a modem and router in one. So if you subscribe to Bell Internet and or 5 TV, which requires internet, you're going to notice a lot more speed and you don't need two different devices. You don't need a modem from your ISP and then a wireless router that you would buy at retail. This is two in one. And this one has 12 antenna built in. So it is uh, internal antenna, so you're not going to see them sticking out like some of the routers have, but really fast speeds. It's 802.11 AC speeds with tri-band technology. So what that means is you're going to be able to have more devices on the network at the same time without any noticeable slowdown. One of the things that I did notice with the Home Hub 2000 was that the more that uh, my family, we were all on the Wi-Fi at the same time, the more it impacted the performance. So one kid's watching Netflix, another one is playing on Xbox. You're gonna notice a difference, but not with the Home Hub 3000, which is great. And let's face it, everything is getting on your Wi-Fi network now. Your smartphone, tablet, ebook reader, laptop, desktop, smart TV, video game console, uh, even an alarm clock that I was looking at for my daughter the other day had built-in Wi-Fi so you can listen to you know streaming radio stations from around the world when you wake up so the more devices that go on the network the more impact it is going to be on the bandwidth you need a fatter pipe and this is where the home hub 3000 comes in so really great performance very fast speeds uh, also great uh, range so if you are in a slightly larger home and you may have had to buy an extender or repeater you may not need to um, uh, because it has a little bit more power under the hood and it also has a built-in battery which I like so if you you, um, if your power goes out in your home and you're on a, a laptop that's battery powered or a tablet or whatever, you may still be able to have uh, internet access until the power is restored. That wasn't the case with the Home Hub 2000, which was uh, only plugged in to your AC. Um, also with 5 TV now, it is uh, this helps keep it fully wireless. So that's new for 5 TV. Otherwise, you did need a wired receiver uh, a box that was uh, connected to your hardwired into your internet connection. And then the rooms could have a, a a wireless receiver for that whole home PVR feature. Uh, but now everything can be wireless with this device. And then finally, very easy setup. It's got a web-like interface on your computer so you can uh, see what kind of use you're looking at, the speeds you're getting, what devices are using up the most data and so on. Uh, very easy to use. You do not need a degree in electrical engineering. And then finally, the price. So if you are a new Bell customer and you're subscribing to internet and 5 TV, then this is included. You're gonna get the Home Hub 3000 now, which is great right out of the box. Uh, otherwise, existing Bell customers, it's an additional seven bucks a month or $199. So really good stuff. The Bell Home 3000, this is what it looks like here. Slightly bigger than the other guy, but certainly a lot more performance. You can learn more about it at bell.ca. I'm Mark Saltzman. Thanks for watching.